So you've got a deck of cards, you've got a curious mind, and you want to learn a card trick that will amaze everyone. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be revealing the secret to the best card trick in the world. Now, I started learning magic at 13 years old, and this is actually the first card trick that I ever mastered. So if you're someone who's got little to no experience in magic, then this video is for you. But also, after all of these years, as a professional magician, I still perform this magic trick. It really is that good. Now, very quickly, before we get into the video, I've had so many people wanting to know how to contact me to ask me questions about magic. And if you want to ask me something, then the best place is on my Instagram. On my Instagram, I just post fun photos of what I'm up to in my life, from trips to diving to traveling and stuff like that. But go and follow me on Instagram and message me any questions you have there, as I do try and get back to everyone. Now, hands up, I don't always do it, but I'll do my best to answer all your questions. Anyway, let's go back to the video. So the magician has a deck of cards and he allows the spectator to reach in and freely choose any card that they like. In this case, the spectator has chosen the seven of clubs. This card is then placed to the side and then the magician deals down small packets of cards onto the table and tells the spectator that they can say stop whenever they want. The spectator says stop and then their card is returned to this exact position. Everything is clean and fair. The magician then picks up the cards and gives them a couple of cuts to randomize things even more, and then places them onto the table, waves his hand over them, and then spreads out the cards. Amazingly, when he spreads out the cards, there is one red card in the deck. However, this is not any old red card. It's the spectator's seven of clubs. So the red seven of clubs is placed to the side and then the magician shuffles up the cards one more time and he says he's going to show the spectator the trick again. So the cards are shuffled to randomize things even more. And then the spectator has a completely free choice to reach in and pull out any card that they like. In this case, they've chosen the Nine of Hearts. Just like before, the cards are cut and returned wherever the spectator wants. The magician then places the cards onto the table, waves his hand over them, saying that a red card will appear. He spreads out the cards, but there is no red card. So the magician says he'll try this one more time. He cuts the cards, spreads them out onto the table, and again, there is no red card. The magician then points to the red seven of clubs that the spectator picked earlier, and amazingly, it's changed into the nine of hearts. So this trick actually means a lot to me because I first saw it on YouTube maybe 12 or 13 years ago. And after watching the trick, I realized just how powerful yet simple it was. And I just couldn't resist the temptation to go and learn it myself. So this was actually the first card trick I ever learned. And I still remember to this day when I finally felt confident enough to show someone this trick. So I chose a close friend of mine who had no idea about my newfound interest in magic. And with a deck of cards in hand, I nervously performed this trick to him, hoping to recreate that sense of amazement that I experienced when I first saw it. And to my delight, my friend was amazed. And I just remember seeing his face in disbelief. And I think it was that moment that I realized the true power of magic and its ability to captivate and surprise others. So today I'm really happy to share this magic trick with you and I hope it sparks a flame of inspiration in your hearts to really delve deeper into magic and appreciate this incredible art form. So with that being said, uh, let's learn how to do this magic trick. So this is a really amazing magic trick with a devilishly simple secret that you're going to love. So the first thing you need are two of the same card. However, one of the cards needs to have a different colored back from the same deck. So here I've just got a blue and red nine of hearts. Place the red card on the very bottom, the blue card on top, and then the rest of the cards on top of that. And this is the setup for the trick. So the first thing you want to do is just allow the spectator to reach in and pull out any card that they like. 
However, you need to be careful not to flash the very bottom card because it's obviously red. So the spectator reaches in and let's just say they choose this card here, which in this case is the nine of spades. They have a look at their card and then you start to deal down small packets of cards from the top of the deck and the spectator can say stop whenever they like. So let's just say they say stop here and you take their card and return it exactly where they say stop and then place the rest of the cards on top. However, notice that when you place the rest of the cards on top, you're placing the red nine of hearts on top of their selection. So the rest of the cards go there and at this point you can wave your hand over the deck and then spread through the cards. And when you spread through the cards, there should be one red card face down in the middle of the deck. At this point, this will normally get a reaction because the spectators aren't expecting this. But very importantly, what you need to do here is split the deck into two separate piles. You do this from the red card, and then it's very important that the pile with the red card goes on top of the other pile as shown. At this point, you're going to have one nine of hearts on the bottom of the deck, one nine of hearts on the top of the deck, and then the spectator's card second from the top. Now what we need to do is a double lift and it will look as if the spectator's selection is the only red card in the deck. If you want to know how to do the double lift I did in the performance where you take a card and you turn it over like this, which is very natural, then you can check out my course Card Magic Pro. But a very basic way to do this if, you've, if you're new to magic is just riffle up the back of the deck with your thumb until you get a break under the top two cards. Then just turn them both over as one by placing your thumb along one edge of the two cards your middle finger along the other edge and then use your thumb from the other hand just to rotate the cards around. So this is quite an easy and powerful double lift. So just to show you that one more time, you riffle up the back of the deck, you flip the cards over and you show that this nine of spades is their card. They will be amazed by this and then you flip it back over and place what they think is their nine of spades onto the table. However, it's really the nine of hearts. Now what you need to do is force the other nine of hearts onto the spectator. Now in the performance, what I did was control this to the top of the deck and then do a classic force on the spectator to make them pick it. But a much easier way to do this for those of you who are new, new to magic is to do something known as the Hindu force, which looks like this. The spectator would say stop whenever they want. Let's just say they say stop there. They take a look at their card and guess what? It's the nine of hearts. So how do you do the Hindu force? Well, what you want to do is hold the deck between your middle finger and thumb like this, and you hold it near the back. Then come over with your other middle finger and thumb and simply peel off packets of cards into this hand here. And then whenever the spectator says stop, you just show them the card at the bottom, which is always going to be the nine of hearts. And this is a very convincing force. So they say stop here. They've chosen the nine of hearts and then you place the rest of the cards back on top of the deck. Of course, you can use any force that you like, but I really enjoy using this one, which is known as the Hindu force. At this point, you say you're going to do the trick again. Spread through the cards and show that there is no red card. So you pick up the cards again, you maybe give them a cut, and then you spread through the cards one more time, saying a red card is going to appear. Again, there is no red card. And just when the spectator thinks you've got the trick wrong, point to the red card that's on the table, turn it over to reveal the nine of hearts. Now, if you want to become a real wizard, then consider checking out my course, Card Magic Pro. It's the most popular card magic course in the world with over 10,000 students, and it just teaches you tricks and slights that are way too good to reveal on YouTube. So I've left a link down in the description to where you can check it out.